Welcome back geometry students. We're going to be going over one more type of dilation problems in Khan Academy. This specific one is called dilate triangles. This one's uh, more of the advanced variety. It's actually more advanced than what you have in your book and for some of the examples, but this is a great type of honors problem specifically. So let's go ahead and get started in dissecting the information that it presents us. So it says draw the image of triangle ABC under eye dilation whose center is P and scale factor is one half. So let's break this down. So first we need to draw the image. That means we have been given the pre-image. Now I'm using Notability, I'm not in Khan Academy just because I wanted uh, a little bit more freedom to use uh, some of the drawing tools to make this a little bit more informative for you, okay? So drawing the image of ABC under a dilation whose center is P, so let's label this center. So here's the center. Okay, I don't really need to make it more obvious, but there it is. There's the center, just in case you didn't see it. Okay, and then it says scale factor one half. Now, this is a vital piece of information. If the scale factor is between zero and one, that means it is a reduction. That means we should have a shape that is smaller in some way, okay? Not bigger. If it was bigger than one, say two or five, then we'd be looking at, a bigger shape, a dilation that uh, is an enlargement, but in this case it is one half, so it is a reduction. Okay, with this in mind, we need to plan out what is going on here, and we're going to take it point by point. So let's look at B. We're going to start with point B. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could make this into a coordinate plane and you could label P as the origin and then go from there, and we're going to call this. This is one way to do this. So we're going to call this negative 2, 2. Okay, and if it has an enlargement, or excuse me, a scale factor of 1 half, half a reduction, that means we're just going to take both these points here, and we're going to multiply negative 2 times 1 half, and we're going to multiply 2 times 1 half. And that would give us, let me use this uh, bright green here, or this darker green. That would give us negative 1, comma 1 for our new point for B. That's one way to do this problem, okay? So I'll show how to do that in regards to all this. So if point P is the origin, which you can make it for this type of problem. We're going to label A, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How high does it go up? It goes 4. So what happens when we multiply both these numbers times 1 half? Well, if you multiply 8 times 1 half, you get 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So somewhere in this area. Okay, and then multiply 4 by 1 half, and you get 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. This is our new point. Whoops, forgot to label B prime. This is A prime. Say, uh, exact same thing with point C. This is the last one we're going to be doing. Okay, so point C is 4, comma, negative 4. So if you multiply both those coordinates by 1 half, we should get 2, negative 2, and that is what our triangle should look like, okay? That's one way to think of these types of dilations, okay? is just to reorient everything and call P the origin, label the coordinates, multiply everything by one half, and that will give you your answer, okay? And also keep in mind, a way to check, remember that with uh, reductions, everything needs to reduce towards point P. So think about perfect straight lines towards point P, and that's what happens here. Point A prime goes in a perfect line towards point P. B does the same thing towards B prime, and C does the exact same thing towards uh, C prime. Okay, that's one way to think of this problem. I'm going to show you one more quick way. If you go with that, go ahead and roll. End this video right now. Don't even finish it, and go ahead and get started on it. Okay, but I'm going to show you one more way to do it, just in case you don't want to call it the origin, or if you're trying to find a dilation where the origin is not the center. Okay, so let's say P is our point our center of dilation, how would we go about finding where B becomes B prime? Well, first we need to find out the vertical and horizontal distance between these two points. Let me change my color scheme here. I'm gonna to go to green and orange. So my horizontal distance is to the left two, and my vertical change to get to point B from point, or P, my center, is two. So vertical distance of two, and then a horizontal distance of two. So if my scale factor is one half, well, that means I'm going to be reducing 
both my horizontal and my vertical distance by one half. No, we're not by one half. I'm going to multiply both these distances by one half. Okay, so instead of going to the left two, I'm going to be going to the left one. Instead of going up two, I'm going to be going up one. And that's going to take me to my new point, B prime. Okay, just so you guys get it, let's do the same thing with point A. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight units to the right. How many units up from this is it? One, two, three, four. And what we're going to have to do is we need to cut both of those in half. So instead of going to the right eight, I'm going to go to the right one, two, three, four. Instead of going up four, I'm going to go up two. And this will be my new point, A prime. Okay. I'm going to erase all this just so you guys can see this a little bit better. Okay. Let me erase, 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 erase. And we're on to point C. So we need to... Oh, bye bye B. Let me get it back. All right. So now with point C, we're going to talk about the horizontal distance. That's one, two, three, four to the right. One, two, three, four down. And we need to cut both of those in half. So I'm going to go to the right two now. Go down only two. And here is my new point, point C prime. Connect the dots, my favorite game. And there you go. That's another way to do this type of problem with dilations, okay? I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with the rest of the Khan Academy, and see you next time.